Uh, hi folks, this is a video of my latest Papilio Probe project. Uh, basically what you're seeing is a bunch of animated shapes that are bouncing around on the screen. Um, on one hand it might seem kind of primitive, <laughs> but what makes it interesting is that the Papilio Probe is actually driving the VGA protocol itself, meaning that you know there's this resolution of 640 by 480 um, and uh, the, the Papilio is controlling all of the uh, signals that go over the uh, VGA cable. And in particular, there's no frame buffer backing the image. There's no memory backing the image. In other words, the device has got an algorithm that's basically painting the screen basically with a nested for loop. Uh, this for loop is painting the screen in top to bottom, left to right order. Uh, and the point is that each iteration of the for loop has to make a quick decision about what color the very next pixel is going to be, whether it's, uh, in this case, whether it's black yellow or red. Um, so in order to make the shapes that you see, uh, the code has to make some very carefully organized uh, decisions. Um, I've tried to make my program pretty modular, so for example the number of shapes is configurable and you could also plug in a new shape, like if you had a, I don't know, an octagon or something, you should be able to plug that in. I've also got boundary detection, and uh, meaning that the shapes bounce off the walls, and I've also got collision detection, meaning that the shapes are yellow, when they're not colliding anything, and they turn red when they uh, do collide with something. Um, by the way, my cell phone is not doing a great job of capturing this red color, so um, to my eye here in the room, these rectangles are either solid yellow or solid red, um, but my um, cell phone for some reason seems to be kind of rendering them as white. Um, trust me, there's no white on this screen. I'm not really sure why the cell phone's doing that. Anyway, the, the vertices of the triangles have independent velocities, as you can see, which, and that's why the triangles tend to morph as they bounce around. Um, however, I carefully set up the uh, velocity of the vertices of that one triangle so that, they all, so that all the vertices are the same velocity. And so the um, cool thing is that that triangle kind of retains its shape until it hits a wall, and then each of its vertices kind of rebound independently, and that creates kind of a cool effect. Anyway, uh, the source code is um, on GitHub, and I'll post a link as uh, some follow-up comment on this YouTube post. Uh, I'm a pretty much a novice VHDL programmer, so I had to kind of make up my own coding conventions and do some hacks to get this to work, so uh, any feedback is very welcome. Thanks for watching my video.